Welcome, kin and kindred. Today we have three stories. I sat on the bus, the angel, and the expressionless. I sat on the bus. I sat on the bus on my way to school, listening to music and paying little to no attention to the other students. At one of the stops, my mind snapped back to reality. I looked towards the small house, Tommy's house, I thought. A hand slipped through the drapes of the window and waved the bus driver to move on. He's sick, I thought, paying no large amount of attention to the situation. A day flew by. I watched the local news channel after school, and what I heard paralyzed me. Tommy's entire family was murdered that day by an unknown suspect. After hearing the news, I moved back up to my room and quietly fell asleep. The next day, I sat on the bus. We drove past Tommy's house, and the bus driver, unaware of Tommy's family's fate, stopped at his house. As I was about to get up and explain to her what had happened, something caught my eye. A pale hand slipped through the drapes of the window and waved the bus driver to move on. I sat on the bus, terrified. The Angel A few years ago, a mother and father decided they needed a break, so they wanted to head out for a night on the town. They called their most trusted babysitter. When the babysitter arrived, the two children were already fast asleep, so the babysitter just got to sit around and make sure everything was okay with the children. Later that night, the babysitter got bored and went to watch TV. But she couldn't watch it downstairs because they did not have cable downstairs. The parents didn't want children watching too much garbage. So she called them and asked them if she could watch cable in the parents' room. Of course, the parents said it was okay, but the babysitter had one final request. She asked if she could cover up the angel statue outside the bedroom window with a blanket or cloth. At the very least, close the blinds because it made her nervous. The phone line was silent for a moment, and the father who was talking to the babysitter at the time said, Take the children and get out of the house. We will call the police. We don't have an angel statue. The police found all three of the house occupants dead within three minutes of the call. No angel statue was ever found. The Expressionless in June 1972, a woman appeared in Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. California is nothing but a white, blood-covered gown. Now this, in itself, should not be too surprising as people often have accidents nearby and come to the nearest hospital for medical attention. But there were two things that caused people who saw her to vomit and flee in terror. The first being that she wasn't actually human. She resembled something close to a mannequin but had the dexterity and fluidity of a normal human being. Her face was as flawless as a mannequin's, devoid of eyebrows and smeared in makeup. There was a kitten clamped in her jaw so unnaturally tight that no teeth could be seen, and the blood was still squirting out over her gown and onto the floor. She then pulled it out of her mouth, tossed it aside, and collapsed. From the moment she stepped through the entrance to when she was taken to the hospital room and cleaned up before being prepped for sedation, she was completely calm, expressionless, and motionless. The doctors thought it would be best to restrain her until the authorities could arrive, and she did not protest. They were unable to get any kind of response from her, and most staff members felt too uncomfortable to look directly at her for more than a few seconds. But the second the staff tried to sedate her, she fought back with extreme force. Two members of the staff had to hold her down as her body rose up on the bed with the same blank expression. She turned her emotionless eyes towards the male doctor and did something unusual. She smiled. As she did, the female doctor screamed and let go out of shock. In the woman's mouth were not human teeth, but long, sharp spikes, too long for her mouth to close fully without causing any damage. The male doctor stared back at her for a moment before asking, What the hell are you? She cracked her neck down to her shoulders to observe him. Still smiling, there was a long pause. The security had been alerted and could be heard coming down the hallway. As he heard them approach, she darted forward, sinking her teeth into the front of his throat, ripping out his jugular and letting him fall to the floor, gasping for air as he choked on his own blood. She stood up and leaned over him, her face coming dangerously close to his as the light faded from his eyes. She leaned closer and whispered in his ear, I am God. The doctor's eyes filled with fear as he watched her calmly walk away to greet the security men. His last ever sight would be watching her feast on them one by one. 
A female doctor who survived the incident named her the Expressionless. There was never a sighting of her again. There we have it, our three stories. I sat on the bus, the angel, and the Expressionless. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, think about liking, think about subscribing. This is Kabasai saying, bye.